Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so, 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 so glad you're here. If you're not new, welcome back. Let's go ahead and get right into today's video. First things first, it seems like SZA is making that damn bag, all right? She's made over $100 million on tour, okay? On tour with about 56 shows. I love it. I live. I love it. I love it. I did not think that SZA was going to be having a show like a tour making $100 million. You know, I, I didn't think that I would ever imagine $100 million earning from a tour and it'd be from SZA. You know, like typically you hear about like, you know, the Beyonce, you know, you know, the Lady Gaga, you know, you know, the icon icons making hundreds of millions of dollars on tour. So in my opinion, congratulations to her. Congratulations to her. Now, the reason why I'm giving so much props to SZA is because a lot of these artists do not go on tour. A lot of these people sit their ass at home, put some shit on Spotify, and, and hope for it to blow up on TikTok, okay? Nobody's actually going on tour to tour their music. That's what everybody's doing these days is relying on TikTok to make the money, okay? TikTok and some little shitty ass merch, they, they slap their face on a damn Gildan t-shirt and think they're popping, all right? No. It means making albums, making tours, going on to like real music industry stuff, okay? So that's exactly why I am very glad that Scissors on tour, okay? Because a lot of these artists, even if they did go on tour, they would sell less than 25 tickets. Like, yeah, a lot of people are popping, a lot of people are popping, but everybody can't sell out an arena, all right? Let alone a theater. So let me know your opinion down below. Let's move on to this next topic. If you was there, let me know how the experience was. I ain't go because she want to charge $99,000 for a fuck-ass hour-and-a-half show. Okay, okay. Seems like Lotto is expected to win big at the 2024 Grammys, okay? Now, she's supposed to be nominated in the categories for Best Duo Performance, Best Rap Performance, and Best Melodic Rap Performance, okay? Now, do I think that she's going to win an award? Yes, I, I definitely think so, okay? And if she wins the award, it will prove how fraudulent the Grammys is, okay? Because, you know, if they give us to the people who are trashy and don't have that much talent, okay, then that just exposes the Grammys as a whole. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm not surprised if she does win it. But me saying that is not a good thing. I don't want you to think that, oh, I'm, I'm rooting for the Grammys. No, I'm not rooting for the Grammys. I'm just saying it will expose them. Now... I, w I wonder what songs and what, you know, performances deserve Grammys from her. You know, I I'm trying to think now, wh 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 what is it? You know, I don't think that anything she released, I mean, she might get one for Put It Under The Rug. Um, They may give it to her and Cardi, you know, just for shits and giggles. But honestly, though, I think that the Grammys, they need to be investigated. Mm-hmm. And when I say investigated, I mean like a full-on FBI shut down in this bitch. Like, we gonna come through and really, like, raid the motherfucker. Like, we gonna, you know, because their selection is very interesting. It's very politic -y. It's very calculated. You know what I'm saying? If I do say so myself. But, like I say, I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong. Maybe I could be right. You don't know. But just let me know what you think about this down below in the comments, okay? Let's talk about it down below. Moving on, moving on. Jason Lee, aka Jason P, aka Jason Big Back. Um, he is saying a lot of different things, and it seems like he cannot keep Nicki Minaj out of his mouth. Okay. Now, getting into it, y'all. So T.S. Madison, she was recently on his show. And um, he was talking to T.S. Madison, and he was just like, So basically, when are you gonna let Nicki Minaj and me make amends you know when are you gonna let let us you know have our moment of you know being cool being friends like you know when can you give me the chance to apologize to her that's when jason lee was like oh because you know he really wants to apologize to her for whatever he you know he has this, he has this creepy obsession with her you know i feel like he has pictures of her hung up in his bedroom under his bed in his closet and in his bathroom i feel like he has pictures of her all around his house so um t.s madison was like I'm not doing that because, like, basically, you know, you said this, you said that about her. Why would I do that? You know, that's just not right. Like, you know. And then Jason Lee says, moving on from that day, he will no longer say anything bad about Nicki Minaj. Okay. And honestly, why is this even a conversation? Why is every interview on your fuck ass show about Nicki Minaj? Why? Why? Why does her name always has to come up for you? to feel good about your show 
And especially if you're not a fan. Now, if you're a fan and you talk about her all the time, that's one thing. That's great. But, I mean, obviously, he is a fucking fan. Okay? Um, do I believe he's going to stop bashing her from this day forward? No. I don't think so. I feel like he knows that he can get a rise out of Barb's. Okay? And he knows that in order for him to stay cool with Cardi B, he will have to continuously bash her name to stay cool with Cardi. I don't care what you think. I don't care. I don't care. Call me delusional. I just think that he knows he has to be bashing Nicki every day. Just to hang with Cardi. I mean, it, it, you, you can't tell me that. He, that's not the case. All right? So, I don't know. I call BS. I think that he's really weird and he gives me creepy vibes. He gives me the old uncle that won't shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. You know that one uncle at the cookout who just, why are you here? Go home. Like, everybody is talking shit about you behind your back. And it's just like, go home. Yeah, that's what he gives me. He gives me creepy uncle at the cookout who won't go the fuck home and who won't shut the fuck up. Oh, na na. What's my... Anyway, reports have come out, okay? And it seems like Rihanna has given birth to her ch second child. Oh, my God. Um, it seems like it's a girl. It's a girl. And I love this for Rihanna, okay? I love the fact that it is a girl. Now, this is all alleged information. Until Rihanna herself comes out and says what is going on, then we can go ahead and move forward with it. But according to rumors, they're saying it's a girl. She's already given birth, okay? I want to be respectful to Rihanna and ASAP in this time but i love this for her i feel like rihanna having a girl oh she gonna be real girly girl like you just know she gonna be girly girl down with her fancy kicks her fancy dress you know she better have all that you know rihanna definitely about to be stepping out with this new baby i'm already knowing that she about to be glowing even more than ever and that's why i kind of don't really get that upset with rihanna when she doesn't do her music because she's having kids she's having fun she's getting money she's on a halftime show she's getting billions of dollars for some makeup for some damn panties and thongs you know she's getting billions of dollars for all these things why would i give a fuck about a damn microphone why would i care about a microphone why would i care about an album when i can make all that money in like a month just off some damn thongs you know what I'm saying? Like, so I love it for her. She's having fun. She's living her life and she's just being free. And I feel like that's what we all need to be doing. It's just having fun and doing what we want to do regardless of what people say. I mean, yeah, everybody gonna have an opinion. That's fine. But hey, do what you want to do. And moving on, y'all. Tanache is releasing a new song from her upcoming project. And y'all don't be tuned into Tanache for me. So if you're watching this, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and tune into the song because Tanache is that girl. And she's putting out a lot of quality that... A lot of people complain about it not being no quality in the music industry. Yeah, Tanache is giving that. Her music videos be up to date. Her choreography be up to date. You know, her sound is up to date. You know, she's just really good and she's slept on. And I really wish y'all would listen to her new project, okay? Um, so she has this new song coming out. It's called Needs, all right? August 18th. Clock it in. Save the date. And yeah, let me know your opinion. Let's move on to this next topic. Moving on, y'all. Rolling Stone ranks WAP by Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion as the number one best female hip hop video this century. This century is crazy. Um, Rolling Stone, what, what, are, what are you sniffing? Okay, what are you sipping on? No. Um, now I'm trying to figure out why all of a sudden is WAP getting all these, you know, awards and accolades. It's it's sus to me. It's suspect. Why? You know, I'm trying to, I, I, like, just the other day, they was like, WAP is one of the best songs. That, like, I feel like, allegedly, these people are paying these these different magazines to put this out. Because who the fuck is saying that about this this video? You know, I just don't think WAP is an iconic music video. It's not iconic. Why are we doing this? Why is this trash being nominated as something that is just so iconic within the past entire century that is just crazy to me okay you're definitely on something or two or three okay or, you know you're on one now in my opinion though i could see if y'all had said something else maybe like you know the kiss me more music video you know the anaconda music video Anything else other than WAP, in my opinion, I just don't think it was nothing to be going crazy about. Okay, but I don't know. That's just how I feel. That's just my opinion. And yeah, and I have the right to feel how I feel. But maybe, you know, you feel something differently. And maybe that's why we have a comment section and we can talk about it and we can discuss it down below. Okay, we can go ahead and get into it. All right, comment down below what you think, y'all. What you think, what you think, what you think. I will see you all in the next one. Be safe. Y'all the best. Subscribe. Thank you for 13K. We hit 13K. All right, y'all. Be safe.